As an elusive member of the string family, the octobase was created in the 1850s with a total length of over 11 feet. It's such a massive and intriguing instrument in the subcontrabass category that I've already explored emulating it with my longest 40-inch scale Kalium Quake at the time, tuned down to a C0 like the few remaining octobases in existence. It's really hard to find any construction details on any of them out there, other than their overall heights. But eyeing from pictures, it looks like the actual length of the vibrating string is about the size of an adult male. Although maybe just a foot shy of that, at 60 inches, my piano string gen stick is still remarkably a better electric counterpart to the octobase than the Kalium was. And instead of using an ebo that yielded questionable results, I bought an actual cello bow for an instrument tuned two octaves lower than one. Then I also had to learn what bass rosin was and buy some of that to give you a heads up on my total lack of orchestral string knowledge going into this. I don't have the octobase's three strings, but I do have two different cage piano strings to swap between. And I don't have the massive power of a boat-sized hollow body, but I do have the charm of a jazz bass pickup and magic of an amp sim. Let's crank up some super low notes. This is Kevin from Said Too Much.
What do y'all think? Was this a pretty successful emulation, let alone a viable instrumental contribution to arrangements? As a guitarist, the bow is fascinating to me, offering potentially infinite sustain if you're skilled enough. I did make a full instrumental arrangement using the Ebo back at the time of the first video, but I think this is the superior version with a bit of its own experimental debut if you want to check the description for both of those links to make your own comparisons. The neck of a bowed instrument actually has a significant radius on it to allow the straight line of the bow hairs to touch just one string at a time, so there'd be a little bit of engineering required if we wanted to try out the full three strings of the octobase. Some of you also pointed out the potential dangers of the piano string snapping. It is double the tension of a single bass guitar string, and I'm slapping the string around a lot more than a hammer would on a piano, corroding the copper quicker with my bare hands too. However, the average tension on a grand piano string is about 60 pounds on top of what we have. But I'm not going to argue with the community looking out for each other if you want to join in on building your own. Otherwise, maybe I can try some of your ideas. I'm actually pretty excited about where the stick could go in the future. For now though, enough said. For early video access, raw instrument tracks, and more exclusives, find our community on Patreon and consider adding your support. Said so much!